So today let us uh, spend some time on the behaviors. And uh, since we're talking about behaviors, we are of course talking about a script now for Jira on server. Now, there was a question on the community and that is why I am uh, making this video. And I think uh, I have not really made a lot of videos on behavior, so I think it is a good opportunity. So the question was all about uh, when you resolve an issue, let us say when you click on uh, any transition button on top, there is a transition screen that will appear. And on this transition screen, you can have different fields. Of course, you have something like resolution in case you have a resolution or maybe maybe you have uh, security level. So the question was, uh, was actually about security level. And uh, uh, the question was exactly about this thing that if the value in the security level is uh, something like level two, then a comment is uh, required. So let us say if I, let us do it with level one. So if I resolve this, so comment is of course not required. If you click on the resolve button, the transition will happen. And uh, this is probably not what you want. Or, may or maybe this is what you want if the level is, uh, let us say one. But if the level is two, if you are selecting the level while you're making the transition, or it could be it could be any other field value that you want to check for. So let us go back and click on the resolve again. So if the if the security level is selected here as uh, uh, two or basically something that uh, you uh, I mean l let us do it again. Let us uh, click on this uh, click on the resolve button again. So right now the level is one and uh, the comment is uh, also not required. If I select the level as two, the comment will become required. And uh, of course you can check this by trying to resolve a com uh, trying to resolve the uh, issue without filling in any some any anything. Uh, so you can enter something like changing the level and uh, then hopefully it should work. So. Let me show you the code how how to uh, do this. Now, of course, you need to create a behavior, and uh, as you can see in this particular behavior, when you create a new behavior, you of course have to define the mapping. So right now, the mapping is applicable for IST project, and uh, this particular um, um, mapping uh, will have a code that you want to run. I have my code, uh, which is of course on my server, so I will be showing you my IntelliJ, but you can use the script tab to paste the code and uh, i'm basically using the security level uh, field because that is where i want to check that is where i want to trigger something maybe i want to make the comment field as required when you change the security level so this is the field that you need to configure or you can configure any other field and of course uh, we are talking about transitions here which is always uh, good to know so let us take a look at the code itself so in this particular code um, the first thing that we are doing is we are trying to fetch the comment field. So there is a method called get field by ID and uh, you can also fetch the security level field, which is uh, something that the user will change. So there is a method called, uh, I mean, you can use this field changed and it will basically capture the field that is being changed. And then of course we have a simple code here. So the main thing that we're trying to do is we are trying to make this comment field as uh, required when something is true and that something is basically the value in the change form field which is uh, the security level in our case and there is a method called form value the value that will be there on the form then i'm basically comparing it with uh, the security level id because in this particular field you will have uh, one id and if you watched my previous video on script runner for jira uh, I talked about how to fetch and how to set the uh, security levels. I mean, I think I talked about how to set the security levels, but these IDs are something that you can always find when you hover your mouse over the security levels in the security level scheme, in the security schemes, issue type security scheme. But basically I'm checking this here. And if if the level is, let us say one or two, in, in my case, I believe it is two, then I'm making the field as required. And uh, don't worry about the code. I will, uh, of course, as usual, share the code so you can also enjoy it uh, on your own server in case you want to do something. So 
in this particular case what we did is uh, we basically made sure that the user will enter something in the comment based on of course a value in a field a system field or a custom field so that is all i wanted to share and talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today thank you very much